Perhaps I'm not making myself clear here. This is a threat. Kristen, I can't murder you this very moment, but I could just as easily tear those eyeballs from your skull and feed them to your sister. The conflict between us would not end well for you at all. I assume you understand that if you lay a finger upon Haley, it will be the last thing you do on this earth. I have no idea what Davina is or why she ran away. Can I suggest you take a step back? If anyone threatened to dismantle what I'm building here, I destroy everything they hold dear. Have a wonderful evening. Option one, go about your business like a good little boy. Option two, violent disembowelment. My darling Lucian, I'm quite happy to stand here and watch you die. Or you could invite me in. The thing is, I'd speak to her myself, but I fear the conversation might become a little unpleasant. You don't go anywhere near her. And it's settled. I'll deal with the matter personally. You listen to me very carefully. I told a good friend that I'd do my very best to spare the lives of her people. You leave right now. I will honor that. Stay. And the situation becomes irrefutably awkward. I'm afraid we might have to resort to something deliciously medieval here, brother. But then I do hope you understand that anyone willing to stand aside and allow my family to be threatened, I would be forced to consider an enemy. Let's invite them for a friendly meal, systematically turn them against one another, and then devastate their pitiful alliance. Watch your tongue. I am not the patient, fun-loving social butterfly you might recall. My, my, you have a beautiful home here. I was so pleased when the city took my suggestion to protect its heritage status and invoke eminent domain. So I suppose that means this house now belongs to the public, and as such, anyone can enter without invitation. I don't know where it is. I think we both know that's a fib. Anyone feeling hungry? Which of these two vulgar parasites would you first like to torture. Give me Camille and the medallion, and then we may consider the future of your head. I am fighting the monumental desire to mount your severed head upon one of his walls. Miss LaRue, it would be a great shame to soil the goodwill of our recent agreement. I would encourage you all to leave. Yes, I still do have a murderous hunger. In precisely three minutes time, your little hunting party will become the prey. Now, based on your recent failure to subdue my baby brother, Niklas, this despite a better than 100 to one advantage. I recommend you heed my warning. We are free to deal with them however we choose. I recommend something delightfully gruesome. Remind them that any attack on me is a really bad idea. So stay away from them, Marcel, before I interpret your behavior as an act of betrayal. I would make it snappy, unless, of course, you want Niklas to eviscerate that poor girl. I delivered you into this existence. I can just as easily pluck you out of it. The choice is yours to make. Now give it to me. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm not going to ask you again. Diego, this isn't a request. Now, if you have any difficulty whatsoever with your newfound position, I'd be more than willing to remove you. Your words are no more compelling than his. I want proof. The girl and child remain unharmed. A class will kill you all. And I will help him. Give me my brother before your world becomes significantly less wonderful. We've come here for the girl. Give her to us or we kill everyone here. Starting with you. I recommend you give me what I want unless, of course, you'd like me to level this place and everything in it. You are going to the bottom of the ocean where you will drown in darkness again and again and again over the course of centuries. This will be your splendidly horrific and perpetual end. You can either tell me what you know, or I can distribute tiny pieces of you throughout the quarter. Gentlemen. Shall we? This ends now. I won't ask again. You give me my brother. I won't ask you again. I won't ask you again. What does it want? I will not ask you again. If you don't kill him, I will. If you think I'm above burning this place to the ground, you are gravely mistaken. We'll free me class today. And if I have to burn that city to the ground. My recommendation was to remove your limbs one by one until you comply. Now, in the event that you should suffer horribly, I can't promise I won't enjoy it immensely. We came here to honor the alliance between us. If this is something you wish to rescind, so be it. The coordinates, please. <laughs> if I tell you, you'll just kill me. 
The alternative is significantly less pleasant. Unless you would like me to fetch the chainsaw, I recommend you give me what I seek. I recommend you not give me any further reason to stake that feeble, incurvated sternum of yours. This is the first and last warning that I will give you. Give it to me now. I won't ask you again, Marcellus. If I so much as find a trace of you in the French Quarter, it will not end well for you. The girl! I will not ask again. <laughs> Do you wish to die? Quite the monster you got lurking in there. You want to see mine? Rebecca's off limits too. You pursue her and you will suffer. You live. And you die according to my will. And if indeed you should prevent the redemption of the cruel, the wicked, the vindictive Niklaus Michelson, I will deliver another kind of nightmare. I would violate everything sacred under the sun in the name of rescuing my niece. No one hurts my family and lives. <laughs> Nicely done, brother. You're beginning to sound like me.